Ladies and gentlemen, Jing Ning, we're back here with another fight stick video. So y'all remember a while back I made the terrible <laughs> jink box. So now we're officially gonna make the jink box 2.0 from from basically from scratch. So but I did buy a little bit of a DIY kit so we can go based over of that. Um the DIY kit is coming based off of focus attack, which I am very excited about. It's gonna be another all button style control because you know all of my all buttons. I'm not a joystick user. But this is the bottom for it. This is the other piece of the bottom that will go on top of it. And this will be the top right here where all my buttons go. I'll be using buttons here. These will be the 30 meter but millimeter button. These will be 24 millimeter buttons right here. And this will go underneath of that. And this will be the size for where the USB will come out and the button for like start, select, home, and things of that nature. So... Let's get right into him taking this part and building it all up. First, we got to peel all these paper all to go from there. Now that we finally went through all the trouble of peeling all this nasty sticker stuff off of here, which I recommend if you're going to do it, peel it from the edges, from edge to edge, little tip, and then pull slowly, because if you don't, this will rip and you'll get a bunch of nonsense. But now you get to see what it kind of looks like. So here's the base. Here's the pieces of it. So these will be basically the sides, and these will be buttons for like the start, select, and things like that. This will be on the edge of this, and this will be on the this side of it. This will be kind of a hole where we can put like our our um, port for where we plug into the console or PC and whatnot. And these, this will be the bottom base, which you can see is black, kind of cool, right? And then it will be this on top, then with the clear case on top like that. So basically the clear case is in case I want to put something like artwork and stuff, which I'll put later on when we get to that point. Um, not in this video, but hopefully later on I'll do a final version with the with the artwork, but I just kind of want to get built. And this will go on the bottom underneath the black for our uh, artwork if you want to have face on the bottom, top and bottom. So that's kind of cool. So let's get, our, and then all we have left that we need now is our hardware. This is all the hardware we're going to be using when we built this thing. The screws for the feet. This is going to be for around the corners here. Around this. And these are going to be indents for screwing these all together. And the washers we need. And this. And these two pieces are for when we put put in our um into the hole here. And this will be our how we plug into the PC and all the other devices we have. If I can actually open this thing, which is kind of sad if I can't. See, this is a little USB that will go in here. And this will basically go in basically like this, like so. We put our two screws in, and then that way. But we're going to actually reverse it because we need this going inward, outwards, and vice versa. So. We'll go from there. Let's put this, let's kind of clean this up a little bit. So the first thing we're doing will be a little bit easy. We're going to be putting on the top one together. So you have the clear one first. That way you can see the artwork. When If I put artwork in this. And then we'll have this on top, which will lay on top of this. So it should look something like this for artwork. And then we'll put four screws going around here. And then hold, we've already been pre-drilled pre and everything. So we have our little standoffs here. And the way it will be kind of simple, we kind of push it through, and I'll kind of show you from a side view. Should line up pretty evenly for the most part. Pretty, pretty evenly like that. Screw goes through. All the way through. There we go. All the way through like that. And we'll just twist these stands on. There's no screwdriver for this part needed. But I do have a screwdriver just in case. And then I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver from Correct for this. So pull these things out. These little tabs. Okay. First stand off. And we won't put it too tight yet, because we just in case we have to do something later on. Like so. And we'll do these all around. Two up closer, not too tight, a little loose. And then we'll 
do a final one here on this side. Like I said, spin it around. Let me make sure we get the blue paper off. And then one right over here. If I remember saying before, this is made by Focus Attack. This is the B&B &B DIY kit for building your own fight stick. They come in joysticks, but um, WSAD format like mine is, and hitbox format. And that, and that's, and the cool thing about it, that's how it looks like from the top. So this looks kind of, this looks kind of sick right now. I know there's a little bit of clear thing, but that's for if you had all the other stuff on. So that's that right there. So before we get finished building the rest of the board, we'll put this in. This is the USB so we can connect to the consoles. But we want this on the other side. This is this having this this way where because it goes from our fighting board to here to there. So let's make sure we flip unscrew this. Do a little bit of unscrewing here. Screw here. Uh, there we go. That here goes another one. Okay, there, and that's the assembly right there. So I came out here like so. And there's this. I'm assuming it come. This comes out like this. Flip it around, and we have these two. So we have to kind of slide in like. So, there we go. And then basically this can sit in like here, like that. Now stick out like that. Now I'll be standing up like this here. So let's, let's screw this in real quick. Okay, let's put these screws back on before we put in there. So let's do... So all we had to do now is put this loop back on here, push the loop down, like so. Get our two screw leads. One here. And you can see as it's going through the side like so. Okay, that's the first one. Our second one. Into yonder. And there's that. Now you see it hangs out on this side, like so, and it doesn't move anywhere. Now here are the two screws for this that will go into side of here. Um, glossy side facing outwards, obviously, like so. Let's pull this back. And since we have it sort of like this, Like so. This will go into here like this. And this will go into the other one. And facing this way, this these will spin like so. Like there. And I do not recommend using a drill or anything like that for this because you don't want this to break anything. Okay, so these are in so far. This is looking good. And you can get different stuff to make a cushion better, so like that, but for this purposes, just want to sit sort of like so. It's in there. There you go, it looks nice, right? Now to the next step. The next order of business will be now buttons. Um, we're using Sawa buttons, they're the clear ones because we're going to actually be putting LEDs in there later on. Um, and we suggest to do this right between this. Now, these are snap on buttons, they recommend you use screw ons, but these are the ones I have right now. Maybe later I get screw on, but just, just as a warning, these do from what I was tell wear down over time pulling them in and out. But I'm planning on just keeping these in there. I may pull it out once after I may do the, 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 um, the artwork, but other than that, that's it. So let's start putting these, putting these in here. So, like so. Just kind of push it in there as you can see me put it in like so actually let's flip around this way and there'll be eight this way and then we'll put the other buttons later on 
These are the 30 millimeter, by the way. So, kind of want this hanging this way. So, like so. Next one, facing this way, like this. Like so. Next set of buttons. And the only ones that are going to be lined up with so far are these. That was a little bent, but it's all good. Like so. Down. And just push in there. Cool. Two more buttons left for this. There. Then the last one, which is the eighth button for this. So far feels good though. We're getting there guys, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now the next set of buttons I got are actually Quanba buttons. Cause I was, this was originally for something else I was using when I was gonna try to make a new thing, but it didn't work out. So I'm gonna just use these for this. These are supposed to light up before this build is not gonna be able to light up. Cause they have a totally different setup than what we're doing for that compared to this one. So hopefully these will fit in here. I'm pretty, hopefully let's, let's hope so. And I just lost two of the buttons. Okay. These may or may not work. Hmm. Let's see. Now putting these in here will be kind of weird. Oh, they fit. That's cool. And these actually go with what we're trying to do. Quamba. I think those are stickers. Yeah, those stickers on top. But we'll leave them on for now. Just so you know they're Quambas. We got Quambas, and we got Sawa buttons going across. So far, this is this is looking pretty nice, pretty 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 nice. Now we're going to use the rest of our Quamba buttons for the buttons on the side to start, select, home, and all that stuff. So let's put these bad boys in, and these are going to be simple, just like the other ones we put in. Have the Quamba going inward. There you go. There's one button. You can just push these in. These are not these are not too complicated to do. For a first set. Next set. Okay. Boom. Something like that. Kind of like I have the sticker facing that way, even though these are just stickers, but it still looks cool, right? So that are all the buttons. So so far we have our we have our, so let's put it all together. We have the P style shoot out, shoot out the um, USB. We have our side button start select and things of that nature. And we have our main, oopsie, I kicked it out. Our main buttons here for all this. So we have, that's what we have so far. We have all this. So now we have to put our wire in, our board and things of that nature in. Let's go. Now we will be taking out the wiring from our original jank box we had. If you remember in the last video when I showed you jank box 1.0 to RAC. Um, if you're taking these out from an existing fight stick, I do recommend you use pliers for it. Um, but here's the here's the really important part about this. I gotta make sure I show you. So you see this bottom part right here? This is not where you wanna pull. You'll pull close to this middle part. Not on the wire itself, but the very top part of that silver metal piece. So we're gonna pull all, we're gonna pull these slowly but surely out. Each one, like so. See how they easily come out. This is how you kind of want to pull them out. That way they can come out nice and flush and easy. Just out the way.
And then it's pretty simple, and I'll keep going through steps like that. Okay, now we finally took apart the board from the original existing Jank 1.0 for the 2.0. So, let you know, I technically forgot to order the screws for here and here. <laughs> I thought it came with a bite. Then there's a whole bracket mount for apparently the board, but I'll find some screws and put it there. But, by the way, I did screw up. There were screws in there in the kit, part of the kit. I just missed look for them. I mean, I didn't see them the first time, I mean. And a little bit of a note, you have to... You have to put these two screws on for for the board before you put the clear piece and the black piece on. So that's a really important note. Let's get back to the rest of the part. What we're going to do, this is going to be a little bit of a complicated part. We're going to run We're going to run this thing which is the Kami board. This is the part that will actually run the art the LED part of our board. This little thing right here. The uh, Ka Kamina almost like Gear Lagan if you want to see it, the Kamina board. You can get this for about I think 50 bucks for the whole thing and it comes with these disconnects it'll be going one and going here and it'll chain out to each led and these are be the leds i'll be going behind each buttons as you can see here um and there's a light there and daisy chain. this is super e easy oh by the way none of the stuff we're doing today requires soldering at all it's like literally we'll just sit right on top like this here and i'll do each one like this too so we'll, we'll start hooking this stuff up together so let's start with the how many part this goes facing this way and you can see how it goes in the pins like so. Nice and snug. There goes that. That going like so. And then, I guess let's put these down first, right? And there's an LED, a little LED on each side. We'll do like something like this. So, uh, I think it's big, small, big, small, right? It's going to be jumping like this. So if that's the case, if it's going to be jumping that way, you should probably do big, small, big, small, left to right. So big, small, big, small. There we go. Let's turn the buns around a little bit. There we go. Oh, let's switch this around so I can go big, small over here. Yep, yep. Let's do that. And then big, small. And then big, small like that. And then big, small going all the way around. So this should go. So it should come out of here. Loop, boom, 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 boom. It's, pre it's pretty straightforward. And this is our longest one, so this must be the starting point. So let's get this. And you can see this kind of slide in. There's, like I said before, there's no solder required. Make sure I don't break anything. See how it's facing like that? See that? And this is should be the right shape facing inward like that. So and this is this way. Make sure. Oh, that's the right way. Never mind. That's the right way. Okay, that's in like that. Now we put the first one into... Let's start the farthest. Oh, this is a small part here. So we probably should go from here to there, right? Maybe I should have did the farthest first and chain link like that. Hmm. Well, we'll do here and see how it looks. If not, we'll just switch it around. the right way yeah there's a little notch and everything okay the notch is in right here loop out the free make sure you look for your notches too it's hard to see but there's little notches on these things that way you won't mash it in and screw up something here Oh, we screwed up the big small. This is why we were trying to do it earlier. I knew I screwed something up on this thing. I knew I did it, guys. I knew I did it.
I think this was right. And this will distribute the power for this. Now, mind you, one thing I will recommend, do not plug anything in until after everything's wired up properly first. That's one thing I will definitely make sure to see. Here. As you see, the notches as per usual. If you're doing it right, all the notches are coming swimmingly like this one here. Uh, notch. Ah, uh, we did reverse. Wasn't well, paying attention. We switched to reverse. And then after that, we'll just link all these together. Let's keep it going. Okay, so we have all of our LEDs hooked up now in the chain now. And we finally fixed the screw issue like we had before. So this is mounted down and there's our LEDs first. Now, these do seem a little loose at first. But here's something to know. When you put the disconnects on, these will stay down. So from what I've been told. So, so as far as putting this in, see the gold pins facing up? The gold pins should be facing the blue. To give you some insight if you're bad at this board, you don't know how to go. And this is the, um, the official Brook fan out you can buy this and this right here is specifically this this connector piece right here is specifically if you're running a hitbox style control like i am so there's a separate one for joystick there's one for hitbox with the socd cleaning and all that stuff okay so let's put this bad boy on and i'll be posting as we speak now a little bit of a diagram of of how to hook this up by the way orange should be facing this or red should be facing that way this is, I'm going by the ends right here. So orange out, red in. So slowly put this on here. On top of all of this. And I think everything is on. Everything looks like it's just about on, right? Let's put the wires coming out this way. Here's the hard part. So these are our directionals. And I have a little bit of a diagram over here I'm looking at as we speak. So purple, black. Okay, so here's how we go. So here we go. We'll be putting installing our punches. The punches will be the top row. The kicks will be the bottom row. So... So we have as follows, punch, which is blue, punch one, and, and it's kind of obvious to see, their base extends out as far as, the, as long as the, each one. So the closest one is always going to be one, and then, and then so on. So there we go, that, so blue first, red, then gray. And then purple. Maybe we should do this one and have it go. Yeah, let's do it this way. That way you can loop out of that. Yeah, that makes more sense. So put this over here. Like so. And blue right here. Like so. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which side you go on when you do this. So those are boom, 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 boom. That's, those are our punches now. And see, now that this is here, this ain't going nowhere now. Now with the cables and stuff there. And the same thing where punches, we got our kicks. So orange, then yellow, then green, and black. So as follows. Kind of pull this around here so I can start stay still. Sorry for all the tanglement. You got your orange. Your yellow. Your yellow. Your 
green. Green, and then we have our farthest, which is black. So let's repeat this again. Orange is kick one, yellow is kick two, green is kick three, and four is kick four. I mean, black is kick four. So one, two, three, and four. Those are our kicks. So, so far, that is looking good so far. And all we need now is our directionals and our L1, R3s, and all those. Okay, the next step is our arrows. And the arrows go as follows. Up being orange, which we'll plug orange in right here. Um, down being red. And this is on the, the fan out with the hitbox stuff. So orange, red will be down. All these cables. I can get the red around here. Then you got a red. Um, yellow is left, which is right here, and then green will be right. I know this look a little messy, but the out final outcome is all that matters, right? <laughs> like if you want to tie them off, you can do all that. I'm just trying to try to get to the point around here. I'm not going to tie them off yet because I know I'm going to have to take this part again sooner or later in the future. And then these black cables are your grounds. And there's there's ones for the arrows. And there's also some for your other buttons over there. So we'll do the arrow ones first. And they just and then we just daisy chain them together. This is just a ground, that's all it does. None special. Now this little white section you see on here, the qualm buttons, as I mentioned earlier in the video, they were supposed to be for light up situations, but that was for a, a separate project. I never ever use them. So these the arrow buttons will not light up. Only the buttons over there will light up. And there we go. And here. And then the final ground here. So we got arrow grounds. Now let's do the final grounds over here. We can kind of do like, we went it this way the first time. He could go the same route, right? Or we can go that way to kind of keep it down. Let's start this way. Now, that means it'll curve like that. Let's do it this way. Round. And the grounds don't really have to have a particular word. It's up to you how you want to do them. It just makes it so that so if you plug it in and out, it won't short circuit itself. That's all it is. There we go. There we go. Ground. And there are file ground, which is right here. There we go. Now the rest of these buttons, if I remember correctly, are for like start, home, options, and things of that nature. So we need to get definitely get that. That's probably the last piece of the puzzle, and then we, I guess we'll all be good, right? Okay, now to our final part. Um, why will be start? The red will be select. And this and gray will be home. And let me double check to make sure I'm not going crazy. Yes. So start white, red, select, and then home. And we'll and so that means a set of these buttons will actually be kind of duds in a sense. Um, I like since I'm right here, I'll do it on my right side. So technically speaking, my right will be over here for me the way I'm facing. So 
So let me make sure I get this straight again. Um, why this start? This is our start. Right is select, which will be down here. Okay, we're doing. We're gonna flip around that way, so we're just reverse. Select, and then we have our home, and just like that. These also have their own little things too. They're grounding too. So you just loop them like all the other ones. And like I said before, these buttons will not light up. Only the buttons I'll be pressing, my my initial face buttons will be lighting up. Just so a reminder to everyone. Everyone's like, why is the rest of it not working? Like I told you. Like three times why it's not working. <laughs> More or less. Uh, this one came out a little bit, but we'll be fine. There we go. That. And then that. It's probably easier to plug everything in for it. Oh, screw, screw it up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now let's double check and see if all our buttons are all the way down in. So we don't have to take this apart for a long time until I put the artwork in. <laughs> Which will be a while from now. Mm-hmm. 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 So now we got our panels here. This. And we have this panel. On this side. So you can kind of see that. Let's look, that looks pretty slick right now. And this will go in just like a puzzle piece. We got to remember we're doing this in reverse. So that's that way. So we have to flip around this way. And I'll come in like so. Bring it back a little bit. And the reason why we didn't tighten these up completely. So we can have a little bit of give when it comes to shaking this thing around. Because this is going to be probably the weirdest part of the whole thing. Make sure you have the glossy parts facing outward. Mm-hmm. Like so. It's gonna be a pain in my butt to do this part right here. Okay, we got this side in. Okay, okay, okay. Now we need the this back side in. Okay, getting close, that's part in. We're trying guys, this part, I think this part is gonna be the hardest part of everything. Try to make sure these sits in because of the cables pushing and everything else. This is the hard part. <laughs> Okay, now we can put our cable in for this to our alternate box. Not alternate box, but on the brook board. <laughs> Can't talk today. So you plug this in here. And we can run the wire all along here. It's going to be a little bit longer than usual. And this is also my fault for not having any short ones on the moment. But just so you can get an idea where we're going to put it. Put it right here. Run it like so. Man, this is way so close. This is so close to the. This is kind of crazy. I'm gonna have to maneuver it through here. Let's see. I didn't realize how close it was to the buttons. Note to self. I have way too many things running. This might be an issue on my end. Mm. Run through here, maybe? Run through the middle? Here. Oh, let's do this. Snake it through here. Through here. Let me plug this in like this first. And then set it down. And 
then do this. This is why you get shorter one, guys. Main reason why you get a shorter one. But you get the point, though. Okay, things that we learned. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the LED portion to work because apparently they have not updated the code for the board and the site is down at the moment. So I'm not going to be able to do that. So what we did, we took the board out, which was the board right here. We took it out and we pushed it to the side. So when they find you the update, I'll do a video on it. Okay. So I took that and put the um, harness from the brook board instead. So I took this out, which was going this into that. And it's just this going straight into the board now. And I put this back on now because now I realize this is on the other side because on this side. I just moved it over. I should have just thought about the beginning one. And I ran the cable like so through here. So now with that being said, we're on the last part. We're putting the last faceplate on. Backplate on. Okay, now we're on to our last part. Now that we have all our cables and everything secured in, we put the black plate first, then the clear plate on right afterwards. So the black plate like this, the clear plate on that. This will be the time to put your artwork in and all that, that scenario. And we have our footies. These are for the stoppers we're going to put all around here. Pour these bad boys out. And it will go as simple as this. If I don't lose one first. There we go. And you can get a screwdriver and screw these all the way in. Now here's the hard part. You kind of have to make sure it lines up with the little metal rods we saw. That's the key to this. This is probably like the most hardest part you do out of the whole thing. And that's the first screw in after we line it up and we twist it in a little bit. And we just got to do the same thing all around. Simple as that. And now that we got our screws in, we can see what it looks like from the top now. Oh, man, that looks gorgeous. It's a little dirty because of me getting started. I'll clean it later, but look at that. That looks clean. We officially got a new fight stick. Look, look, got the buttons on this side. The buttons on the stick side. So now... And we got to click this in to make sure this clicks in properly. Oh, man. This is so good. Nice build quality. This is worth the pretty penny. So now we have one more step left. And that's actually playing. So let's do some gameplay and see how this thing works. So what's up, everyone? The first game we're going to try is on Rivals of Ether. We'll see how this do. So far, it's moving so good right now. Let's see. Pick, well, we'll, do, we'll do the original cast. And then the start button, which is on the right, left hand side, that works fine. Okay. Doing the practice stage. Oh, it works fine tomorrow. Wave dash and work cool. Let's see if we can get something going. Oh, that works. So, so far, Rival Ether feels good to work. It's funny, like, y'all always see me play Rival Ether and stuff. I'll play with the gamepad, but this actually feels good playing with this. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, so far, this feels good. Moving left and right and everything. The wave dashing with the YouTube button. It feels really good. Super responsive. But let's try a different game and see how that feels with it so far. Okay, the next game we're going to try is for the uh, PS4. 
version of Marvel vs. Capcom. So let's see how this goes. And for those who want to know, I'll press the home button just so you know. Yeah, we're playing on PS4. Just so y'all won't be like, is he playing on PS4? We're not going to sign in or anything like that. So far it's moving good. Let's try Dante, Chung Li, Amatu. That's this, and their team is kind of irrelevant. And these are all normal controls. I haven't switched controls or anything like that for this game. Just so you know, this is all basic normal controls. Square, triangle. That's okay. Oh, let me see I can do it. I gotta do this right. This one's kind of hard to do. That's simple. And the mashing works too. I did the wrong thing. Wave dashing works too. Oh. I dropped it, but you get the idea that works at least. At least we know. So that's one person now. Let's try Chung Lee. Give me a salute. That seems fine too. Match it out. Let me see what I can do. Oh, it, it, it's working though. It's kind of hard to do, but you get the idea. Kind of works. It works fine, guys. I can't do Chung Lee that well, but not like I used to, but you get the idea. So this character is good too. So let's try more easier character. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, it's a share button. There we go. Okay. That's what I gotta do. Um, we gotta switch to the dog. Okay, let me see if we can get the dog. That works fine. So, Marvel vs. Capcom plays kinda well, if anything. It plays really well. So, next, we're gonna try some Switch action. We are playing Power Rangers Battle for the Grin, just so, just so you can know for your personal reference. Whether it's Switch, we're gonna, I'll hit the home button. We're playing on Switch. We're gonna try some things on here and see if we can get things to work. So far, this feels good. I'm really liking this form factor when it comes to this thing. We'll do Ryu. Um, I do know. I do know a little bit of this chick, and then sure, we'll do him. 
Doesn't matter who we pick. We're just kind of filling out the controls, see how it feels to translate from here to here. Now, I don't remember all the switch buttons, so it's going to be kind of funny trying to do this as I'm playing. But so far, like, this is feeling really great. And I like this a lot better in my other one because my hands can rest easily. This is about, like, a little bit under the size of my Smashbox. So it's kind of cool. Okay. There's the Doken. Are you sure you can? Uh, 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 uh. It look it works so far. I know it. Can I reset this somehow? There's reset, so Not bad so far. Can't remember how to do it. That's how you do super? I feel like the super is different. That's the super. It's been a while since I played this game, guys. Don't mind me. Looks like I can remember some stuff here. It feels good so far. Oh, okay, so we can do uh 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 Formation. That's why this is more special. Formation. So far it's working good. That was kinda good. It's it's so far it feels fine. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I shouldn't hit this afterwards. Shouldn't hit heavy, so. Uh, 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 oh, it works. It works. It's working f fine so far. So let me switch to. That's super awesome. Okay. And let me do this. Let me hit reset on this. I don't want him. I didn't mean to press that. I gotta remember my buttons, is, guys. Okay, so. Okay, so let's try this. We're getting there. Okay. Hold it right there. Does that work? Mm -hmm. There we go. There's a little bit of insight for you. So, so far in this game, it works really fine. But we tried it on Switch. We tried it on PS4. We tried it on PC. This is a really good piece of work so far. But, but it's, I, I'm really, it's, I'm really excited for the way this thing feels right now. Final thoughts. This was a really cool project to make. Now that I officially made my original, own original fight stick. Really nice finish. Really nice texture and it's easy to build without you having to drill your own the company um focus attack builds it for you so it's been 
not build it for you, but send you the parts you need for it and you build yourself so this is probably by far the easiest way you can kind of build your own fight stick and the, it's big it's sturdy you can ask how thick it is mine is two inch thick and everything um things i've learned we definitely want to figure out the leds the L, the whole led scenario because i really want the leds to work with these buttons so definitely if you have if you, if you like what you're watching please like and subscribe now because there will be a video i will figure this out to get the leds to work and maybe some other extra stuff i'm doing and i will be actually putting art on top of this when when the time comes for the fight sick but so far this was a lot of fun the buttons i love all the leftover buttons i use to do this so the buttons and stuff you have to order separately but the case and stuff focus tax made and everything i'll put links in the description for parts and pieces and stuff like that where you can look for each individual thing that way you know when you get like the case is all one thing the buttons i had to get separately and like the whole case and all the the plexiglass and all the ports was all cool and it feels really good it works on all your system if if you have the right board inside the brook board does not come with it it can't i bought it separately and it was something i had for my other fight six so but this is a lot of fun i've been waiting to do this video for a long time y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all learned a thing or two if y'all actually looking forward to build your own fight sick but um i see you see y'all say janky and there will be a video coming out about the art we got put on it finally and a video about the um the light the led light so let me know in the comment section i see you soon peace